Hey everybody, it's Matt from You and Your Horror Movies, and welcome to day six of my 31 Days of Horror. Yes, a review a day for 31 days. I hope you've been enjoying the review so far. Let's get on to the next one. I'm bringing you a film, a black and white film from 1962, so we're going old school today. Uh, Kino Lauber put out this Blu-ray, they did a fantastic job with it, and that, that of course is Burn Witch Burn, also known as Night of the, uh, Night of the Falcon. There's a reason why they call it that. If you've never seen the movie, it has to do with the Falcon. <laughs> but anyway, well, Burn Witch Burn is pretty much the story of, what's his name? Uh, yeah, Professor Norman. Professor Norman has been receiving a ton of success. He got a uh, promotion. He's getting all the, the great jobs. And of course, a lot of the colleagues are not too thrilled with this. They're jealous. They don't like what's going on. Well, they're invited over for a bridge club at, her, at his house with his wife, and they're noticing some weird stuff. And what it was is the wife has these little protective charms all around the house. And Norman's like, meh, he's very skeptical. He doesn't believe in this stuff. So, of course, they win their bridge match and everything. A couple of people are kind of disgruntled, but everyone leaves. Well, Norman's trying to find certain things around the house, can't. When he does look and, and searching, he finds one of his wife's um, items. <laughs> it's like a dead spider in a uh, like a little candy jar thing. Just he goes, "What is this?" And he talks to her, and she realizes, "Well, I've been seeing this witch doctor, and to help you know with everything with us, to help you know with financial with everything." And he's bah, he doesn't believe any of this shit. And of course. He's going around destroying all these protective charms, burning them all and everything. And she's very hesitant, like, you know, I do this for protection. He's like, I don't believe in witchcraft. Witchcraft is not real. He's more of a man of science. Well, of course, everything's all said and done. <clears throat> Things start going haywire. Uh, this one girl in class accuses him of sexual harassment. He's now brought in proc the dean. And of course he's smart, he realizes, you know, you've, you've been put up to this by your boyfriend, <clears throat> trying to get money out of me, you know, trying to get good grades. So he's, but other weird things are starting to happen. His wife's becoming more aloof, and she is trying to protect him in other certain ways. Of course, maybe someone else is now putting these spells on the family. They're starting to see certain things that are not around, especially this gigantic stone, like, eagle. Yeah, I think it was an eagle. Night of the Eagle. That's what it was. But anyway, this giant eagle slash falcon, whatever you want to call it, starts going after them. But in their mind, they see it. But in, in other ones seeing there, it's not there. So they have to figure out who's doing this, if there is. Is it because she was working on witchcraft? Was it because she did that? Or is it actually someone else using witchcraft against them to uh, get revenge? So it was actually a kind of neat whodunit type film. Very thriller, psychological. I definitely recommend this. If you're into like witchcraft films, this one's a definitely must own, especially from like the 1960s. Again, it's all in black and white. This does have a reversible cover art, if you're into that, where she's behind the stake there. But I like how they have this bird in the background. There's a reason for it. Again, like I said, about the giant bird chasing after them in the movie. And there's a cool twist at the end with that too as well. <clears throat> uh, special features. They have brand new interview with star Peter uh, Weingard. Audio commentary with writer Richard Matheson in the original trailer. So you got some special features to this whole film, which is great. So I definitely highly recommend checking out Burn Witch Burn from 1962 yes so yeah guys let me know what your thoughts down below if you're into like witchcraft movies I'd like to hear your thoughts if you're into those put some down below some of your favorite uh witchy type horror films all right guys thanks very much for watching stay tuned for more 31 days of horror all right take care guys peace